The 100,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine have been donated by the U.S. government as part of President Joe Biden's pledge to avail more than 100 million doses to countries in dire need. African countries top the priority list as the continent's vaccination rate stands at a disappointing 4%. President Gengop and Ambassador Linda Thomas Greenfield both agree that access has been a challenge for Africa, even when the countries are prepared to pay for the supplies. We are pushing for better access to vaccines um, in order to allow for large segments of our population to be vaccinated and for us to reach uh, our goals in terms of herd immunity. Um, the president thanked the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations for the support the United States has offered to Namibia with regard to vaccines. Most African countries are reliant on the WHO-backed COVAX facility for COVID-19 vaccines to complement those acquired through the bilateral deals. The inconsistency in delivery schedules, however, has led to the suspension of the second dose uptake in some countries. The donation of the Pfizer vaccine to Namibia comes a week after the U.S. government sent 108,000 doses of Johnson & Johnson vaccines. Blanche Corres, NBC News at the UN headquarters.